Well, uh, I shall be quoting for this Robert Klapisch, since at that moment I still uh, was in particle physics. And the first suggestion of accelerating heavy ions at the CERN proto-synchrotron appeared in a workshop held at CERN in 1977. But uh, this remained subthreshold up to October 80, when a letter of intent was submitted by, G by a GSI LBL collaboration to study, guess what, neon lead at 12 GV per nucleon at the, at the CERN PS. Uh, they, uh, five of the authors of this letter are now members of ALICE and they, they are Reinhard Stock, who was the spokesperson of this letter of intent, Hans Gutbrot, John Harris, Andre Sandoval, and Renford. This uh, uh, letter of intent never materialized in an experiment. However, it evolved later in uh, two big uh, experiment at SPS, one NA35 and the other W80. In any case, this initiative started the heavy ion era at CERN. Uh, okay? Now, but it took some time. Eh? It was not, uh, was not an easy thing to get, uh, to push this through. In December 82, there was a workshop at CERN on the future of fixed target physics. You know that LAP uh, was going on, LHC was being thought about, so Klapisch organized a workshop. And there was a group uh, called um, Nuclear Beams and Target, which was convened by Bill Willis, and the summary was given by Mike Albo. Following this uh, uh, event, the SPS community, community started to take an interest in uh, heavy ion physics. Myself was one of those, you know, I was particle, full in particle physics. After, nine, after December 82, I started to think seriously, to, to experiment with heavy ions. Then a collaboration between CERN, GSI and, LB, and LBL started a pilot program to accelerate light ions, means oxygen and sulfur, to 200 GV per nucleon. Uh, these beams uh, became uh, available in 1986 and uh, 1987, respectively. So this means uh, six, seven years after the letter of intent. Lead beams uh, came later, came in 1994, after an upgrade of the CERN accelerator complex, uh, which was uh, which was uh, made by researchers from CERN, Czech Republic, France, Germany, India, Italy, Sweden, and Switzerland. Okay, as you know, the Alice letter of intent was submitted in uh, 1993. This means that uh, there, was not, there were not yet uh, lead results, but uh, we were still in the light ion phase. Uh, so the argument came from the light ion results. The atmosphere was of enthusiasm, uh, many nuclear and particle physics group had joined in and several leading personalities in both, field, in both fields came on board. The light ion results were raising a considerable interest among theorists especially 
In particular, the energy densities reached during the collision were, uh, appear to be interesting. And uh, many of the suggested, suggested signatures for the onset of the quark gluon plasma phase turn out to be experimentally accessible. So the results were interesting and uh, the experiment could be done. Moreover, significant technological advances were made in several detection techniques, like uh, time projection chamber, silicon pixel, micro detectors, and ring imaging Cherenkov. Hence, the strong motivation of the collaboration for planning a LHC experiment. Now, uh, most of the physicists involved in the SPS program form the backbone of the collaboration behind the Alice letter of intent. And it uh, was obvious that we wanted to put in a letter of intent for LHC. Okay? So we started to work on it, and during the preparation of this letter, the collaboration had adopted the following organization. Jürgen Schukraff was a spokesperson, spokesperson and Goodport the deputy. They were helped by an executive committee composed by Navak, Otterlund, Querchig, Riccati, Safari, Specht and Stock. In 1994, I was elected chairman of the collaboration board and uh, I held that uh, job up to 1998. It was a difficult period. It was the period when the collaboration had really to start off, to take off. And uh, my mission, at least as I saw it, was, allow me to say it in French, faire ainsi que la mayonnaise prenne. And apparently it worked not too bad. As for my SPS physics, uh, in that period I, with my collaborators, we were making experiment at the experiments at the Omega spectrometer to uh, study the production in heavy ion collisions of uh, multi-strange baryon and antibaryons. The core of the experiment uh, consisted of uh, silicon pixel micro detectors, which were used uh, there for the first time in a high energy physics experiment. Now these uh, micro detectors now are used uh, in several experiments at LAP and LHC. The answer is yes. Uh, since 1980, several proposal studies and proposal were put forward and uh, gradually they converged uh, to the letter of intent uh, set up and later converged to the final setup. For a, a nice review of this uh, uh, development, uh, I suggest the paper by Revol, which appeared on uh, Physics Matters in uh, November 90, on January or November 2011. At the beginning of the AVI on Adventure, the CERN management has been supportive of this. And uh, in particular, personally, I remember the helpful attitude of Leon Vanove, then uh, Robert Klapisch, uh, um, Pierre Dariula, Lorenzo Foa, and Luciano Maiani. Uh, that certainly uh, so, thanks to, the, to those managers. Punto. As for the scepticism, as for the scepticism, 
Xeptic is a Greek name. <laughs> so, a bit uh, at the beginning, there was, you know, there was uh, in the 80s, yes. Uh, friends could come along and say, you know, progress in physics has always come from studying simple systems. Or uh, you're not going to learn anything by throwing a potato sack onto another one. Of course, the potato sack was <laughs> the nucleus. And, uh, and so they went, but today, of course, there is no more skepticism. Everybody is convinced.